First off, um, thank you. Thank you all for being here. Uh, this is an absolute honor to be here. Uh, Cole and I were talking a little bit earlier, and uh, we've both spoken quite a bit. Uh, we've both been in the motorsport world for a long time, but this is our first reveal. So uh, your patience with us working through this is going to be greatly appreciated. Why we're here. We have, um, I, I, we have a term, we, we term this as the perfect storm. We have a scenario where a couple of startups have come together, a racing family has come together, we produced a vehicle to do something really amazing. And, uh, and that is really the perfect storm. So Paul and I are gonna talk about two elements of this storm. So there's three all together. Um, the first element is, is Hypercraft. Uh, this is a startup founded in, in 2019. Uh, really started as the result of a problem that we had trying to build a vehicle. There was no off-the-shelf solution for an EB power plant. So we couldn't just go out like you can do with an ICE and buy a pack, engine package and such and then fit that into a chassis. In this case, it was actually a snowmobile. Jay Coxworth, the, uh, the founder or CEO of the company, realized it was literally impossible to source that. So he was gonna have to do it on his own. So Hypercraft started out as, it was gonna build an e-ski, and then we realized there was an opportunity for powertrain solutions. So Hypercraft, as it sits today, has two divisions. It has a systems integration, or a complete drivetrain system division, and it has another division called Stealth EV, which is an aftermarket facing division division. Our goal here is to develop complete drivetrain packages that are somewhat universal in application. Meaning we can develop a drivetrain package and it can go in something as rad as this, or as simple as a fleet conversion, or in a basic hot rod. So we're trying to do the best we can to engineer the complexity out of the systems, at the same time, lower the cost bar, which we all know is a massive Achilles. So that's a little bit about Hypercraft, a little bit about what we do, a little bit about Stealthy V. We've only got a few minutes to get through this. Uh, and so what I would like to do is pass over to Cole right now and have Cole talk a little bit about Sierra Car and also what's under here without giving it all away. Yeah. Can I get a mic check? All right, we're live. Uh, thank you, Kirk. Uh, I'm Cole Palson, founder of Sierra Cars. Uh, Sierra was started in 2017. Um, my background lies in racing and race car development, and uh, throughout my career I've had an opportunity to do a number of very special races. I raced at the Long Beach Grand Prix right here on these streets, and I've had the opportunity to race at the top of Pikes Peak a number of times as well. And uh, I looked at the market and, and thought there wasn't a very high quality driving experience at a low cost. That's what everybody's in search of, right? So Sierra Cars was born with the focus on the driver's experience. And over the years, we've developed a number of gasoline powered models. And if you see the gray hairs, um, most of those are from gasoline powered engines. And it's been a big problem. And uh, we wanted to increase the fun, reduce the cost, and spend more time driving the cars, less time working on the cars. And EV powertrains are the key to doing just that. So uh, under the cover here, we have our newest model, the Sierra Echo, and it's the future of our company, and I'm very excited to share with you guys. So that's uh, a little bit about what's under the cover. With Hypercraft, like a lot of OEMs, we use forms, different forms of motorsport as validations for our platforms. Um, you may be familiar with the King of the Hammers, one of the most abusive forms of racing in motorsport. Dave Cole, the founder of KOH, came to us, Hypercraft, and wanted us to develop a drivetrain for that vehicle. It's a EV drivetrain in an Ultra 4. He wants to build a, a spec class, 10 vehicles. He supplied us with the mule, we de developed a drivetrain. That vehicle has gone out and it has a 10 year ped pedigree as an internal combustion engine platform. So we know what that vehicle is capable of. Dave knows inside and out what mountain it can climb. With the EV conversion first pass, 
it can go up hills that it's never been able to traverse. So that is an awesome validation platform for us. This here is an awesome validation platform. Cole said that the goal here was to really enhance the driver's experience and just continue to bring it up. This vehicle is an off-road vehicle. It can run short course rally cross. It can run in sand. It can do time attack. It can do road race. The same platform with just suspension settings. So for us, this is again an ultimate situation where our powertrains can be put through the test virtually anywhere. So it gets really exciting for us. This vehicle, again, the specs on it, just to give you an idea, it, the vehicle weighs 1,350 pounds. The power is 307 horsepower peak. Now, I'm talking about how rad this car is, and I say 307 horsepower, they don't really correlate. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but the fact of the matter is, if you look at the power to weight ratio, this is actually a more impressive power to weight ratio than a Ferrari F8 Tributo, which is a phenomenal, package so that makes this better as far as power goes power to win so it's impressive um so now we've gotten to what's under here how we validate and, and the drive chains i would like to share the third element of this perfect storm and the race team that's going to be involved with taking this to its next event so without further ado boys let's see what we got very proud to announce the Sierra Echo. This year, this car will be blasted up Pike Speak by Lucy Block of Blockhouse Racing. So this is Ken's wife, and upon his passing, we wanted to help fill a void in their life and keep the family engaged in racing and see each member of the Block family continue to stay involved in this very vehicle right here. So uh, on top of having this vehicle go up Pikes Peak, we're gonna build uh, seven tribute vehicles. And from that, we're gonna donate $43,000 to the 43i Institute for the Block family to distribute to underprivileged racers um, and people looking for opportunities to stay involved in motorsport. So this is gonna be at the summit on race day. Uh, it's a number of other Sierras that have made it. Uh, and we're so excited to share it with you guys. Thank you. This is this is mind blowing to me. Like, don't be shy. Happening. Come on up. Yeah. Anyone? It's a phenomenal event as far as I'm concerned. The summary is the startups, the race, and the good cause. I think we, I think that's a wrap. You guys, this vehicle will be in our booth, the Hypercraft booth outside 226. Um, again, thank you so much for giving us this platform and. and